Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever it may be. I'm recording this happy Sunday. I'm recording this on a Sunday. Um, today, we're, I'm going to do a short video on how to do the Dollar Tree dry erase boards. I'm calling them spirit fans. So, how to do these. But before we go any further, I need you to click the subscribe button below, please. Like the video, subscribe to it. I am now a little bit over a thousand followers. Thank you all out there that are following me and um, encouraging me to continue because I was a little scared when I started this YouTube thingy. So um, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to sublimate the dry erase boards here. Okay. <clears throat> what we're doing, these are found at Dollar, Dollar Tree. You can get these from the Dollar Tree store. They're the dry erase paddle boards. You're going to need a dry erase paddle board. Of course, your heat press. You're going to need laminating paper. Your images. I printed my images using Cosmos ink. These are my images for the front and back. We're going to do front and back. Let's see. The images, the heat press, the paddle board, the laminating sheet. And you're going to need some butcher paper. And you're going to also need an exacto knife so you can cut. And I'm going to use my Cricut mat once I get ready to cut, and I'll show you. The first thing I'm going to do is I have my laminating pouch. The laminating pouches I got from Amazon. Have a pouch. I'm take the paddle board. I'm just going to slide it right into the center of the laminating pouch. And... Uh, I'm going to laminate both sides at the same time. It's a pouch, so I have it on both sides. Put my paper there. Also, the other thing I'm going to do is cut off the excess. I'm going to cut off the excess of this. I really don't need it all. So I'm not going to worry with it. I'm just going to chop it. Trash it. Now, the pouch, <clears throat> I have, I put in between the laminating sheets. It's in the middle. You're going to laminate it. Put it in there. Your butcher sheet, pad in the pouch, and then butcher sheet on the top. I'm going to press this at 350 degrees for 40 seconds. The other thing you're going to need is also heat tape. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the heat tape. So while that is going, I'll go over the supplies just one more time. You have your paddle board that you get from Dollar Tree. You have your images. You have to print sublimation paper, sublimation ink that I printed. And of course, you know, I do mine in Photoshop. So I have my sublimation prints. The laminating pouches I got from Amazon. You're going to need your X-Acto knife. I don't think I'm going to use that. You're going to need your X-Acto knife. Uh, we're down to 10 seconds. And then I'll show you. Oh, and my um, Cricut cutting mat. It's in 40 seconds. Now, mind you, this is going to be hot. So one other thing you may want to have on hand is a glove. I think I'm going to put this on so I can handle this and, and not burn myself. Okay. I'm using my Cricut cutting mat because I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to cut this off of here. So I don't want to cut my heating pad or scratch up. If you're doing it on a table, you don't want to scratch the table. And all I'm going to do is take my Cricut knife. And I am trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'm just going to trim around it with my Cricut knife. Okay. Once I get it started. I 
I'm applying a little bit of pressure because I want to make sure hopefully I get the top and the bottom. Here's my paddle. And I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Oh, I probably should have left it on my cricket mat. I'm still clean. <coughs> I'm going to trim it later with some scissors. Just clean it up a little bit. Take your image. <clears throat> Both sides are laminated. So you're going to take your image that you printed. I created my own template for the paddle board. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit on there. And I'm just going to tape it down in two spots just to hold the image in place. Flip it over. I thought I had another sheet. I have no idea where. Stuff disappears in my room all the time. Hold on, here it is. Now we're gonna let it go for 60 seconds. Again, be careful because it's really hot. Ink's gone. And it is on the paddle board. Now we're going to do the other side. Got your image. Line it up on there. Like I said, I did my own template for this project. And all I did was place the paddle board on my scanner and I scanned it.
and just use that image to create what I got off the scanner. <clears throat> Let this go for 60 seconds and I'll be back. And we're back. Two, one, get that down. Let's see what we got here. This is really hot. Now you may have with this one, this is my first time doing it and I got a little bit of lifting on the board right here. <clears throat> so I'll just use some glue to glue that back down. But here is the paddle board, all done. Remember, like, subscribe. Here we go. Here's the two that I've got. Like, subscribe my videos. I'll be posting more videos on different things to do. I'm getting several requests, so I have to try it first before I post it to make sure it works and I can do it. But here is your do-it-yourself dry erase paddle boards that you can get at Dollar Tree. Woohoo! Have a good Sunday.